What's up guys? 8 pound 30 inch burrito time. Let's go. Or one more time. What's up guys? 8 pound 30 inch burrito time. Let's go. And the whole reason why I have the headband, the camel headband on, was to make a cannon. I almost forgot about the cannon part. <laughs> I gotta get shots for a gram. Oh man. Correction, eight pound 30 inch chili cheese dog burrito time. Let's go. Cranberry, I'm not sure what you're referring to Kelsey. When you're 6'2", when you're 6'2", and you gotta get on your tippy toes to bite your burrito, you know you're doing it right. Mm. Bazooka Blake, yeah, pretty much, Darren. Pretty friggin' much. I'm sorry I can't read all your comments yet. Trying to get past this foil friggin' thing. We're getting there now. There we are. You guys see that? So, the thing with my meals are, the ones which make me laugh, if your dinner makes you laugh, it's always good.
You know how they say laughter is the best medicine? So is food, so laughing at your own food. That's a win win right there. Yeah, this is wild. Some salsa on there. Salsa. Salsa is a very macro-friendly condiment. No. If you're trying to keep a low sodium diet, not so much, not micro friendly. So, but macro friendly, yeah. A little bit of cheese sauce. You know what's funny? Whenever I do these meals, I feel like these meals are going really fast. However, it is eight pounds of food. I mean, there are 16 hot dogs. Oh, the turkey wieners, these turkey wieners I have all the time. They're good. They're honestly good. Um, I like them. Jenny likes them. They don't taste just like turkey. I've had other turkey wieners which taste horrible. I did turkey wieners from another brand one time. And I did... Was it 16? I think I did like 24. Yeah. I did 12 subs with two in each. It was 24. And they were horrible. So. They were all right, but if you're going to eat 24 wieners, usually they're going to be better than all right. Because all right food gets real or real fast when you're eating this much food. Dropping sauce on the table. There you guys go. Here's the view. Uh oh. Drop one wiener out. 
There it is. One of the most important things you could do here is not eat foil. I would say it's that's up there. Not eating foil is definitely up there on my list of priorities right now. I've eaten foil before by mistake and never noticed until I went to edit my video and saw myself take one big bite of foil and disappear into my mouth. So No, I don't watch movies either, Krishna. I stopped watching movies in the 90s. Which is the best era for movies anyway. Which also probably makes me sound old. 80s and 90s movies. A lot of people here on Twitch are into graphics and shit, obviously, so you guys probably go see a lot of these crazy movies, or probably illegally download them, who knows. But like... Oh, do you have a silver filling? No, I don't. I don't. And you're right. You should teach a class on burrito safety. Who's in awe? You gotta be new here. Oprah of hand jobs. Oprah of hand jobs. So like everybody gets hands. Okay, I got it. You get an HJ. You get an HJ. Everybody gets an HJ. Clever. I forgot my bow tie. Shit, Brandon. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you. so focused on making a cannon that you forget your camo bow tie. Oh, appreciate it, guys. Nobody's going to notice because my neck was freaking invisible half the time anyway. Somebody will. Somebody will, just like you did. You'll be like, fake. He put a bow tie on halfway.
Uncut stream on YouTube. Fake. Uncut stream on YouTube. Do you really eat all that? Here's the link to the uncut stream. How long did it take you to eat? How many bow ties do I think I own? Um, roughly 16. Some chick got pissed at me because I don't tie my own bow ties, right? She didn't get pissed. She's trying to sell me on tying my own bow ties, right? She's like, takes two seconds. I should sell her on making a friggin' eight pound burrito and then figuring out how to tie your own bow tie in the middle of it. Not so simple when you got that much, that much food in front of you, huh? Regardless, like, it's friggin' whatever time in the morning I wanna start tying a bow tie. She's like, your neck deserves a real bow tie. I'm like, yeah, well, I really don't care. Mmm, I'm getting good. I bit foil and, and felt it. Oh, thank you for the cabinet compliment. There was a time, there was a time a little over a year ago where I had no cabinets at all. I don't remember who was watching. I think I was still streaming on Livestar. Um, I was doing Instagram videos still. Just trying to hide the fact that I had no cabinets, right? I think one person caught it in like eight videos. One person said, am I the only one who noticed you have no cabinets? Well, actually you are. You actually are the only person who noticed my cabinets are gone. So I was sitting here, I had a sheet over, I had a sheet over here, and these cabinets were just empty. No doors. It looked like I got robbed. And the kitchen was the biggest friggin' disaster you ever saw. But I didn't say anything, I just kept making videos. I was like, the show goes on. Fifty pound burrito. Well, well, eight pounds. But I do appreciate that. Then again, when you're talking about an eight pound burrito. You know, you know when I when I post this video, somebody's gonna be like, "Well, your friggin' gyro was nine pounds, so what happened?" 
How come this is only eight pounds and your gyro is nine pounds? Appreciate it, Baker. Oh, you talking pizza? Awesome. I'll have to take a look. Did you post it yet? Just so you know, Storm Eagle, I'm not shirtless. I'm wearing a bow tie. I'm just saying, so. They're aware. They're aware. This is very fancy. What's up, Michelle? Oh, the gun? Just warning you, I'm hitting the report button. Buffalo wing sauce gun. Mm. Thank you for reminding me, Michelle. Mm -hmm. A Barney and meat pie. What kind of meat? What kind of meat goes in Albanian? Uh, uh, Albanian. What kind of meat goes in an Albanian meat pie? Ground beef? <clears throat> what are you using? Lean beef? I would assume if you're getting 130 grams of protein from ground beef, it's probably somewhat lean. Yeah. You got to use the buffalo wing sauce gun. Otherwise, it's just an amateur. Mad? Oh, yeah. Fucking idiot, you want to acknowledge my shitty bullshit comment? What? I didn't see your shitty bullshit comment. And if you're calling me a fucking idiot, I'm the man with the eight pound gyro, so you can't be talking to me. <clears throat> protein beef usually dip the pie in yogurt, some more protein. What's a gyro? Mm. 
I dropped a piece of lettuce. Am I trying to finish it? Am I trying to finish it? All right. I can't read all the comments, but for those of you guys who are new here, There's no try. This is just dinner. Hi, Baker TV. Do you lock? No, he's Jenny's dog. Because he would, he probably would freak out. <laughs> There's a lot of people with eight pounds of gob. Eight pounds of gob. Heaven? Eight pounds of heaven? YFZ, real talk. Real talk. <laughs> she ain't happy, bro. Would you date Etab if you guys lived near each other? Or is it one of those new relationships that's online and awesome until you're actually close to each other and you're like, ah, and Etab, same thing. Oh yeah. Oh, no, no. He's not an attacker for food, but... She's pretty dumb. Hold on. I shouldn't even say dumb. He just doesn't have manners. Like, sometimes he's super well-behaved, and then sometimes he's friggin' not listening to anything you say. He's gonna do whatever he wants. So, but as far as food, he's, he's, um, he's been intermittent fasting since, we're talking about, we're talking about Jenny's dog now. He's been intermittent fasting since, um... I want to say May. I want to say May. And he lost 18 pounds. So. That's freaking. That's a big deal. I mean, he was 100 and like. I think it was close to 110 at some point. So, well, he was getting, here's the thing, he was getting so fat, for the longest time, I'm like, Jenny, just to have him do one meal a day. 
And she's like, I can't. It's like your baby. You know what? You have a little kid who just, you can't, you can't put them on a diet and you just keep feeding them. No. When you understand it though, dogs, calories count for dogs too. It's the same friggin' thing. So when you understand it, it's like, it's like, all right, so he needs to cut calories. Are you marrying ETAB? Why, MC? By the time you get married, you should be able to hire me to come to your wedding for like 20 grand and eat friggin' sandwiches. That should be a thing by then. Or like, hire me to jump out of your wedding cake and then eat the entire cake. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? My dream, one of my dreams, one of my many dreams, is to be in a music video eating. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Well, first of all, I eat healthy. Second of all, health has nothing to do with weight loss. When somebody's telling you you're trying to lose weight and they eat healthy, it means they don't know how to lose weight. Patium, I see you're really upset. You're probably, you're probably an, well, obviously an unhappy person. So, if you like to learn, you can stay in the stream. It can't be healthy. I'm going to use this as an example. When somebody says, this can't be, it can't be, there's no way, anything along those lines, it lets you know that nothing, there's no research behind it. <laughs> anything with gluten is unhealthy. No. In addition, in addition, a gluten-free diet can lead to major nutrient deficiencies.
なんか You're gonna see a lot of people in the next few years screwing themselves on a gluten free diet. Yeah, time them out, Darren. So, and he's probably just trolling, but this thing's leaking. He's probably just trolling, but a lot of people, I'm letting you guys know because everyone has a friend who... Everyone has a friend who does a gluten-free diet, or is doing a gluten-free diet. You know why they're doing it? Because they think gluten makes you fat. There was, um, there was a, does anybody watch Jimmy Kimmel? Does anybody watch Jimmy Kimmel here? There was an episode. All right, so I don't watch Kimmel, but I, I, I've seen some of his stuff on YouTube. And I know they do this thing where they go on the street and ask people. They ask people questions, like random questions. So they went around asking a bunch of people, what is gluten? For, oh, first... Oh, no, first they said, do you eat gluten? If, hold on. First they asked everybody, do you eat gluten? <clears throat> A ton of people were saying, no, I don't eat gluten. I try to stay away from gluten. Some people are like, just give me the gluten, but. Some people are like, no, I'm actually gluten free. So, the follow up question, yeah, nobody knew what gluten was. The next question to those people were like, well, what is gluten? And they're like, you know, it's like, it's like that stuff, you know. Some people are like, well, it's bad for you. Some people are like, oh, it's the elasticity substance in the bread. Uh -huh. Some people are like, it makes you fat. <laughs> no. You will have people, I know this girl, right? I know this girl. Pretty girl, went to my gym. Always like, always like friggin' 15 pounds away, 20 pounds away maybe. I'm looking like really great. I talk to her from time to time. And then one day, like one day, a period of time went by. I didn't see her for like three months. I see her again. Maybe I didn't go to the gym at all. That sounds like something I would do. Um, it sounds like something I, I've done many times. Um, then one day, randomly see her at the gym. Friggin' lost a ton of weight.
And I'm like, you lost a ton of weight. You look great. Not that you didn't look great before, but I mean, damn. So she told me, she's like, yeah. She's like, I actually cut out gluten. It was the best thing I ever did. I cut out gluten, dairy, everything. No. No. The gluten she cut out, she didn't try to replace with gluten-free stuff. She didn't rep replace bread with gluten-free bread, which is horrible, by the way. She just didn't replace the calories. So, that was her way of doing it. However, people should still understand why, why something happened. Because if you just understand you could lose weight by not eating gluten, or you could lose weight by eating chicken and broccoli, only, or you could lose weight by friggin' being vegan. None of those are the reason. It's just a friggin' what worked what worked for you, but you can get fat doing all those things. So. You get fat doing all those things. So, I mean, understanding the difference between correlation and causation is huge. When it comes to anything in life, anything in life, YFZ, it's okay if you eat a sandwich during the day while intermittent fasting. It doesn't fucking matter. You can drink a friggin' gallon of beer during the day while intermittent fasting. It's still calories in versus out. The... The idea that intermittent fasting is going to burn fat better than anything else is just friggin' silly. Because <laughs> that's what it is. Fucking... <laughs> Like Brandon said, do you want to spend calories on it? If you do, <laughs> no, a sandwich would be a waste of calories. I'm just saying, I'm just saying it doesn't matter. People, people ask that question because they're worried about breaking their fast. And if you break your fast early, nothing happens. Nothing freaking happens. So if you like, if you like a certain drink, which has calories, and friggin, you like to drink that drink, and you want to spend the calories on it, and it doesn't make you hungry, does not make you hungry, You're welcome, Brandon. Then do it. The two things which piss me off about all these intermittent fasting experts are eating windows and not breaking your fast.
Those are the two things which really, really piss me off. An eating window is just going to make your life harder. It's going to screw your life up. When you're doing an eating window, a couple of things are going to happen if you're adhering to an eating window. Number one. Well, in order to be sponsored by Monster, you have to be an extreme sports athlete. So, if you do an eating window, you're going to be waiting every day for that time to come. Watching the clock, waiting for that time to come. Friggin' You shouldn't be watching the clock. All freaking dead. You're gonna be counting down, be like, oh, six more hours till I eat. Or, three more hours till I eat. Two more hours. My window opens in 10 minutes. You're gonna be too anxious. It's like. <clears throat> getting to the bar club when it opens. So. I'll tell you about the event in a minute. Nobody's gonna be there when it opens. Get there when it's good. And if you know it's going to be a, a late night and everybody's going to show up early, take your time. Get there later. So, um, the idea of breaking your fast. People are all over the internet. Martin Birkin started this. And, I'm not saying there's no validity to being in a fasted state. I'm saying there's no validity to it making any fucking noticeable difference in your life, breaking your fast or not breaking your fast. Everybody's like, can I chew gum? Can I have cream in my coffee? Can I have a lollipop during the day? Can I kiss my girlfriend? What if her lipstick has calories? Is it going to break my fast? Am I allowed to breathe? Like, all types of things, all types of things. So, no, my opinion, I, I have no problem with vegans who know how to be vegan. If you're vegan and you know how to be vegan, great. Which is most people who aren't vegan though. I should say which is not most people who are vegan. Most people who are vegan, most, not all. Eat foods based on if they're vegan or not. Don't eat foods based on getting the proper nutrients. So, you're 
They're like, vegan? Yep. Healthy. Is this vegan? No. Not healthy. Vegan? Healthy. And it's the same with any regular dieter. People are talking about healthy and unhealthy. Um, if you take... Oh, here's a here, little, little fucking lettuce. It's all stuck here. If you take 90% of the food out of the equation, then if you restrict yourself to certain foods, it makes it harder to get the proper nutrients. Do I believe that if I eat twice, my first meal should be if you eat twice, your first meal should be right away. What do you mean? <coughs> you mean if you eat twice, your first meal should be right away? I don't get. ETAP has no idea how to be vegan. ETAB, you're like the prime example of somebody who's very unhealthy and vegan. Are you saying do a breakfast, Darren, and then a dinner? Is that what you're saying? Wake up and have breakfast, and then your your second meal will be dinner? You screwed up the pancake? Well, first of all, what type of pancake mix did you use? Check this out. Uh, You know what's funny? Like, the jello with the Greek yogurt, you chase, you taste it. Like cheesecake to you and you hate cheesecake. What flavor did you use? Chocolate. How much how much of the pudding mix did you use and how much of the yogurt did you use? No, Brandon, ETAB is an expert on this stuff right now. She just doesn't listen. Breakfast is important? No, 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 no. If you're eating twice and intermittent fasting, doing breakfast and a dinner is like, it doesn't make any sense, really. Unless, unless you eat a small breakfast, somehow don't get hungry at all, until, until, like, at all. That's the only way it makes sense. No, I did the entire container of yogurt. 
and the whole box of Jello mix. Did I do two? Did I do only two cups? No. I said what? I remember saying in the video I did one serving to one serving. Your calories don't restart. No, the whole container is four cups. The whole container is a quart. Now you might have used a smaller container. That's possible. Here, let's let's say it like this. The yogurt fucking drenched like three paper towels. The yogurt to um what the fuck am I saying? The yogurt to pudding mix ratio should be one to one. Baker, you have a good day. Now, as far as, as far as intermittent fasting goes, Darren, doing a breakfast is like backwards. Breakfast is pretty much the worst meal of the day. Breakfast is pretty much the worst meal of the day. It really is. So, I mean, if you're going to do breakfast, like, let's say you're doing two meals and you do a bedtime meal and a wake up meal. And then you're fasted the entire day. That can work. It can. Um, doesn't really make much sense. Um, if you're doing two meals... Ideally, ideally would be either um, like a late lunch and a dinner. Like a late lunch and a dinner. Um, that's ideal. So like, put it this way, the word breakfast is when you break your fast. So if you're having breakfast, no, you're really not intermittent fasting. But then again, if you're doing half the diets out there, like the warrior diet or some other diets that, like the warrior diet where you call it intermittent fasting, but you eat all day. You just eat like fruit throughout the day or something. That's not really fasting. Um, and eating breakfast is breaking your fast literally. So I don't know how anybody can say breakfast is important. All they're saying is breaking your fast is important. Um, but the science now, it will work for you. It's not gonna, it's not gonna fuck up fat loss. But as far as health goes, as far as energy goes, as far as friggin' all these little things in your friggin' system go, um, without really getting scientific at all, it's, it's not a good idea. It's not. It's not bad for you. It's not bad for you. I'm just saying, if you're gonna do intermittent fasting, if you do intermittent fasting, then then reap, might as well just reap all the benefits, including not getting hungry. Because once you break your fast, um, you're gonna want to friggin', you're gonna want to eat again. So that's like lunch. I would say late lunch and a dinner or a dinner and a dessert meal. Like some people will do a dinner and a bedtime meal if they're going to do two meals. Jenny does a late lunch and a late night meal, bedtime meal. Um, really any combination, whatever fits your life. But 
I would advise eating when it's number one convenient for you. Like, if it's um, if it's not convenient for you, like if you're rushing to work to eat breakfast, it's it's like you're wasting calories. It's, it's just a waste of calories early in the day. You're you're waking up. And you're throwing money out the window on the way to go make money. Um, and that's that's the whole way I look at everything. Is like, save your calories and spend them when you can enjoy them. Um, all health aside, like, that's... Just bank your calories and save them for later. It's much easier than when you just spend some of them in the morning, but... Hey, that's just me. I mean, if if you want to, like I said, ETAB does never brace her fast ever, ever. Um, but if you want to, you're if you're counting calories and you want to have breakfast and and another meal, or whatever, and it works for you, and that breakfast isn't too big because you don't want to fuck up your digestion. Eating a big breakfast. Another reason why eating a big breakfast is so bad is because. You're moving around carrying all that food in you. Now, I don't want to move around carrying all this food in me. Even though this is an eight pound burrito is bigger than the average breakfast. Like, it's just, like, think about your system. Like, whether what kind of job you have. Or maybe you're training or, like, running. Or friggin' eat a big breakfast and then go friggin' move around and have... All this food shaking around in you. Um, that's not ideal. I mean, if you want to, if you want to get rid of, um, I mean, back to intermittent fasting and, and health. I mean, if you want to get rid of heartburn, indigestion, acid reflux, if you have those things, um, eating a breakfast is not going to help that, in my opinion. Um, when when you do intermittent fasting. When you digest while resting, um, that's that's the best thing to do. I mean, that's that. I had heartburn, indigestion. I had acid reflux, like living in my throat before I ever did intermittent fasting. Like that uncomfortable, like bubbling feeling. Like it just like it was. I hated that shit, and friggin' sure as shit. Once I, and I can't say it's definitely intermittent fasting, definitely intermittent fasting. I mean, I also did start counting calories and nutrients and whatnot. Um, no, maybe it was, it could have been just the chocolate. So that's what I'm saying. It can get rid of those things. So I encourage people to not eat breakfast, but if that's what you want to do, it's not gonna hurt. It's not gonna hurt your weight, your body weight goals, and I and that's that's usually the question, because whenever anybody asks me a question, all they care about for the most part is um, is the weight. When they ask for results, I mean, what type of results? Fat loss. <laughs> like everybody's like, how long do you, how long do I have to do this for results? I'm like, what results? There's a million results. You could want to get stronger. You could want to gain weight. You could want to lose weight. You could want to fucking learn to backflip. Was I spitting out dark fledge when I had acid reflux? No, but like when I had acid reflux, it was the most uncomfortable feeling. Like it was like the bottom of your esophagus, like in your throat. And it just felt like, like bubbling, um, I can't, I, just, I haven't had acid reflux in friggin' seven years, probably. Well, how long have I been in intermittent fasting? Four and a half, actually not, no, not seven. Maybe five years, maybe five years. And it's just this feeling like right here, right here where like, it's like bubbling, but it's like acidic. And it's like, kind of like burning. It's, alright, so you, you suffer from it. It's fucking horrible, yeah. 
It was horrible. And I got it all the fucking time. And now, I can say that once I started intermittent fasting, that went away. However, like I said, I did start eating healthier when I started intermittent fasting. So, that could have to... I mean, it could be a combination of both. But, glad that's gone. But again, I was eating... I was eating big meals and moving around a lot. And that had a lot... I think that had a lot to do with it, personally. But... Anyhow, guys, I got to get to sleep. I got a bunch of stuff to do. Um, yeah, you should try. You should try to take care of that acid reflux because I know how miserable it is every friggin' day. Every day. Um, oh, you want me to move my taxi tab? Is that good for you? You've, you've experienced a go away too, Darren? Interesting. No, I know some others have. I just, like... The more people... The more people who say it... The more I wonder, like... How much it is intermittent fasting and nothing else. Hmm. All right. Anyhow. Well, sorry, Etab. No, I, I don't have sleep apnea, but that's interesting. That's interesting, too. Well, thanks for that info. Thank you guys all for jumping in the stream. Thank you guys, subscribers, donators, good people, friggin' sissy haters. Um, find power since uh, Stupid Optimum canceled the channel. I can't help you there. I don't even watch TV at all. But anyhow, I will see you guys tomorrow night um, doing... What type of meal? No friggin' clue. But we'll see. All right. You guys have a good one. Thank you. The fucking yardstick's still there. No, I can't stop this. All right. Well, I'll just leave you guys here for like an hour.